praise the Lord. Look out into the expanse of what is beyond and consider his love. And while you're at it, Google um, images of New Jerusalem, NASA. Behold the celestial city which the photos, Revelation, have come from the Hubble telescope. It, one of the first things, because it was one of the last, because the first is last and the last is first. No prophecy can even be understood unless that light is used. So let all the world praise his love, for he is our beloved, blessed, and the adored. O oh Lord, he is our strength, he is our rock. He is our fortress and our deliverer, for he is our rock of the ages in whom we can take refuge from, because he alone is the sh shield and the horn of our salvation, our stronghold. We call unto the Lord who is worthy of all praise, and we have been saved from our enemies. No weapon formed against us can prosper, because he is love who is taking a hold of our heart of hearts for all that will turn their face towards him to shine with his magnificence of his splendor arising as we become mirrors to reflect his love and praise the lord he is drawing us now out of the deepest waters but we must go out to the deep deep calls unto the deep who will come and feed the master's household meat while the master is away christ said of elijah I am Shiloh, I am the latter-day Daniel, water, steam, and ice, Isa, Yeshua, Jesus, all the same guy, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, He is love. They are one. For love so loved the world, He gave His only begotten love, so whosoever would love should not perish, but have everlasting life, if we commit not the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, to let our love wax totally cold. So praise the Lord. He will rescue us from our powerful enemies, which is ourselves, which is our foes. There are uh, no greater foes than ourselves. The greatest jihad in this world is fighting against our own evil. And these are the days that the weak can say that they are strong. And so it's time to look unto our majesty of majesties, who is arising uh, on the great white cloud and of uh, Revelation 14 and the great white cloud in Matthew 24, same cloud as he sends forth the sickle of his love because every knee shall bow at the name of love, every tongue shall confess. And then uh, may all of our hearts become pruned and flowers therein shall appear and his grace shall spring up within our heart of hearts, and they shall produce the sweetest fruits for the Lord. For the Lord God shall circumcise our hearts by his Holy Spirit, his dove of love, his most regal eagle of the eons, who's soaring high. These are the days beginning of the lion and the lamb, and he will uncover our inward beings towards himself and fill us unto overflowing with his love. And that shall be the way of our salvation as we run the way and in peace and run towards his truth. And from the beginning until the end, we shall now receive his overflowing knowledge of love and the knowledge that love has never been unconditional, that there is no such thing as conditional love. It is the gross darkness of the ignorance of love. And know that we shall all be established upon the rock of truth where he has now set us. And the speaking waters of his living fountains will purify our lips from the fountain of the Lord, which generously is pouring out as his great ocean of his adoration for the great seas of his very best blessings and goodwill towards all men is flowing as rivers are gushing in rapids of his benevolence and the ben magnificence of his magnificence. Uh, so it's time that we all drink from his living water so we can become intoxicated from that living wine. For he brings forth the living wine that, uh, and the living water that could never die. 
and our intoxication will not be caused by ignorance, but it will be caused by us abandoning the vanity of our own pride as we turn away from pharisaical spirits like David Wood, uh, who says that God's going to kill me and God's going to get me because I'm such an evil man. And uh, Acts 17, know that you are watching a Pharisee and supporting him. And know that we all must turn towards the Most High, our Lord God, who has always been enriched by our uh, favors that he has given unto us first. So these are the days of Elijah, the days of Shiloh, the days of the latter day Daniel, who I am. And we shall now reject all folly and cast it upon the earth. And these are the days when we can strip off all of our desolate heritages and cast them away from us, just as Isaiah 49, 8 foretold. And in these days of the messenger unto Israel of Isaiah 41, that they have inherited all mankind, Isaiah 54, the Lord will renew us all with his garment and he can possess us all by his, his clothing of light. And from above, he will give us immortal rest and we will become like the land that blossoms and rejoices evermore in its most beautiful fruits. And the Lord shall be like the sun of love and righteousness shining upon the just and the unjust. But all have, uh, uh, none of us, all of our righteousness has been as filthy rags and all of our understandings, good or bad, only his love alone has been important for he was slain before the foundation of the earth so that our eyes can be enlightened and so that our face can receive the dew and our breath can be refreshed by the most pleasant fragrance of the Lord's most perfect peace that he is sending into this land. And he will take us all, one and all, who let our love uh, be as a little child. He will take us unto his paradise, wherein is the wealth of the Lord's very best pleasures. And then we can behold the blooming and the fruit bearing trees of the new Eden that is before us. And self-grown shall be our crowns, and the branches will be sprouting, and their fruits will be shining. And from an immortal land will come their roots, and the river of gladness shall irrigate them. And round about shall be the land of eternal life next to the eternal sea. And then we may all worship the Lord with Joanne McFadder singing so beautifully in the background because of the Lord's overflowing magnificence. For we must say in our hearts, oh, blessed be the name of the Lord, are all those that he plants in his land of patience. And these are the days that he has reserved the most perfect place for us all in his paradise if we will just let our love continue as a child. And it's time to grow in the growth of his trees and so that we can pass from darkness into light. Behold, all of his laborers are fair, but all receive the same pay at the end of the day who work the good works and keep their love alive, committing not blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. For we must turn from wickedness unto his most beautiful pleasantness for the pungent odors of the trees of Eden shall change the land and Beulah land shall it be and the great uh, trumpet has sounded of Revelation 10 and all nations have become the Lord's because the seventh trumpet blew first because the first was last and the last is first and everything shall become a remnant of ourselves and blessed shall be the workers of the Lord's waters and eternal memorials uh, for all of his faithful servants shall we inherit and indeed there shall be so much room in his paradise so let us reserve our places let our love overflow so that Christ can save this earth through our hearts overflowing for he is love living within us and those who love are born of him and born again and know him because he is love first John 4 7 and know that everything 
shall be overflowing with his fruit. So glory be unto him, our beloved love of the ages, who is the blessed, the adored, and our carpenter of the ages, who is calling us unto the delight of his paradise evermore. So praise God. Let us soak in his uh, presence and sit a while. And know that as Jehovah Nisi, the banner of love and peace over all men, he's calling all of our names as if we were the only children of love. And the utter remarkability of his greatest honor shall cover the earth as waters cover the sea, as grass cover the land, as sands cover even the most desolate of deserts, and snow covers the mountain tops. Let his love cover the earth's shrinking circle like paint on a canvas, like milk and coffee, and like tattoos on rock and rollers. For it's time to rock and roll to the truest truth, that the master of truth, truest faith of love is our leader of peace. He is the director of love's finest harmony, for he alone is the blinding light of freedom, the redeemer of goodness, and the rescuer of darkness. Praise him evermore, for he is our deliverer from hatefulness, the emancipator of our foolishness, and the liberator of love. And as we look towards heaven, let us evermore be grateful for because he has proven his mercy shall endure forever, for he is the finality of love's most forgiving faith, the integrity of our perfection, and the living hope of the hopeless. So praise the Lord, it's time that we turn around. And with that, I'm just going to say goodbye. So love from love, and until next time, keep it real, keep it 100, and I am... Elijah. Who can deny it, people? Come on. Hey, if I am, guess what? Christ is right behind me. Praise God. <laughs>